What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. So, a few days ago, I posted a video um, entitled pretty much like the sports card hobby as a whole is, you know, and it was basically kind of like one of those uh, questions where it kind of involved some people responding to because I was curious to see where everybody was at, you know, thinking about this. Are we in decline? Are we just slowly going down, staying the same? Are we, you know, going back up into a high point in the market, whatever it may be from your own eyes, because everybody's from different areas and where a market might be still like really hot up in say Chicago or Dallas right now, because of the card show going on a smaller market, just say like Nashville or Cleveland or something might not be. So it was really good seeing the comments onto it and just listening and reading into it. Um, it was pretty good overall. This is my thoughts onto it. And it goes with basically the grading companies as a whole. Why I believe the market is in a slow decline to where it's leveling out here very soon. And with that being said, I think what we're going to see is a lot of these higher population counts really go bottom down. It's not going to be some crazy prices for a base prism Luca PSA 10 anymore. And stuff like that there. But if you really think about it, when we've seen that huge surge, everybody started just popping stuff off the Beckett, PSA, SGC. Um, even HGA came out later on into it all. And we create a huge backlog with these companies. So people have tons of cars, to include myself, sitting in there. So I'm just going to use like a, a number offhand. Say I have $100,000 in baseball cards. It's a lot. Um, I probably have 40 to 60% of that value sitting in PSA, back at SGC, wherever you may have it sitting in at, you know, at the time frame, waiting for those cards to be graded. So that leaves me with a small amount of cards that's either PC or that I'm able to move to rebuy back into the market. Prior to that, you know, you can expect if you got into a good rhythm of what, you know, monthly getting fresh cards in the flip and gain more momentum. Well, all of a sudden that stopped and it started pushing out longer and longer and longer. So people didn't have the inventory to flip, especially with the newer stuff. So my thoughts are with it, we are to decline partly because of that. I think the investors that came in made this huge surge happen and I don't think it was with stimulus checks because getting twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars is not equivalent for a car from five thousand to fifty or to forty thousand dollars during that time frame they they wouldn't be able to buy it but with that being said COVID did somewhat have a play with into it because people were bored with the markets and they start taking part of their portfolio list to Gary Vee. Have we heard anything really going on with Gary Vee recently? Not really. So, I mean, he brought those people in. They did their investments. They started to share companies, collectibles, wonders, a few other ones and stuff like that where people are buying shares into it. The collectors will always be there, everybody. The investors, they come and go. They're going to find the next big thing, whether it's crypto all those crypto names wow but if you really look right now that the baseball card market it's kind of reflected with a lot of the other markets they're all going down whether it's stock crypto you're gonna to have to ride the ways out if you were in early you're good the thing the people that bought in at one of the high points now that stuff's dipping down they're not going to move those cards so there's a lot to really look into and try to gather information just to come up with a reason why that's mostly my thoughts on it, I guess you can say, is that the market itself is shifting because investors are finding something else to invest in. They always do. They always got to do that. That's their thing. Move from one thing to the next. The other part is all that stuff's being held up in the, the grading companies and guys are not able to flip like they used to, so they're backing away from buying, selling, and stuff like that there massive amounts and that, that includes myself on to you know i i've been watching what i buy i'm being very selective now because i know that boom is over 
will we see it again? Of course we will. The market always does that with us. You just have to be prepared for what it does to push as much as you can, maximize profits, and then wait for when it starts settling back down and you buy back into just like stocks. All right, guys. So on that video, there was I really went into this to see if anybody would even just reference that on to a good chunk you did. Um, if you made a reference to that, let me let me do this. I'm gonna do a giveaway off of that video. So this is what I'm gonna give away: nine five P score. This is the scorecard. Oops, I can't even get it out of my mouth there. There we go. Scorecard version <laughs> of Tua. This is the Alabama uniform nine five from SGC. If you made some type of reference into it, whether you, even if you said the market's declining, you can put a reason why I entered you into this giveaway. Because I like being able to see other people's views in the comments and taking the time to do that. And also, I know other people read other people's comments, so it helps us all out. It, you know, you're gathering that information up, and what you do with it's on to you. It's there. But you have to come to your own conclusion off it. So thank you, everybody did it. There was, uh, I think, 15 comments. So I'm going to pull it up here. Let's get the randomizer up. Boom, there we go. And I'm just titling this right here, video, oops, there we go, video giveaway from this video here. Um, here's everybody that, you know, put some effort into or just sets in the decline or whatever it may be in reference to that video. So, Derby, Mike the Car Dude, Reasonable Ryan's Pack Attacks, Ethan Moon, BST, Larry, Chris, James, Gronk, uh, another James too, James R, James P, Justin, Brian, Sean, Joe, and Greg from North Coast. Appreciate it, guys. Let's get this video, or let's get this video going. <laughs> Show's already been in the morning for me. Actually, I'm in the afternoon already. Let's do a three dice roll here. Top person on 14. If I have your address, we're good. If I don't have your address, email me, extremecardbreaks at gmail.com. Same rules will apply with this. The winner will have 72 hours to get me uh, their address, unless I already know it, and then I'll just send you an email here sometime later today or tomorrow to at least let you watch the video. Um, if they don't, it'll go second place, 72 hours. If second place doesn't do nothing, third place. So we'll just keep going on and on and on until we finally give away something to somebody. So same rules are in effect. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's roll. Top person on 14. Again, this is my own account. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. Where's that little thing right here? Oops. Just going to pull it down as far as I can. Show number 13. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and final. Good luck. Derby. Derby, I know I have your address somewhere, but just hit me up on email. Just to confirm, it's still good. I think it's been a while since I sent anything. I just want to make sure the address is still good on you. Congrats, sir. Congrats. Everybody else, again, thank you for contributing to the video. I do appreciate it. Other than that, everybody, I'm out. I got to get ready for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a little bit longer one. So if you see a post, get your snack of choice, your beverage of choice, kick back. Because we're going to be covering... Uh, another company out there. All right, everybody. Take care. See y'all tomorrow. And I'm back because I forgot something. <laughs> That's our code down here. Oh, crud. Hold on. And I'm back because I forgot something. That's our code down here. So as you guys see, we won 14 times. It went Derby, Mike, Sean, Brian, Joe, Chris, right? That's our code. I keep forgetting to do this because I don't run giveaways that much anymore. If we go back to multi-round giveaways, we go to my giveaways. You guys can see there's only this is the only ones. April YouTube GMC giveaway and this one here, same code. Click on it. Should be Derby on top, followed by Mike Sean. I remember the top three. Just so everybody can see. Totally forgot about that. My bad, everybody. I started thinking tomorrow's video on there. 
All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one.